Hey class, welcome to SCIT 336. This is Casey Shear with our final enhancement. Um, this is actually take two, so cool. Uh, we're just going to kind of run through everything and demonstrate the stuff and hopefully everything works right. Um, so first thing we have um, the My Account page, so we need to log in to kind of show that the welcome message displays properly. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. So if we notice when we log in, it says welcome Casey, and that's my name for my for my user, Casey right there. So it displays that. Cool. Um so it just displays the logged in cliently. Um instead of the other stuff, it says welcome Casey. As we see it does it on multiple pages. And if we go here, it still says it. Use that to go back. You here still does it. And works fine. Okay. Um, displays in all views. Um, make sure while they're logged in to do it. So if we log out, it should also go away. Let's go and log out. Oh, it's gone. If we go to a different page, it's gone. It's still gone. It's gone. Okay. But let's go ahead and log back in so we can play with it some more. Because it's kind of fun. There it is. Cool. Um, okay. It's wrapped in a, a link as we see when we click it. it. Takes this page if we go here and we click it. Still works. If we go to update account information and click it, still works. Nice. Um, so delivers delivers it's a it's a wrapped link that delivers us to the admin page, which is kind of nice. Um, still says it's welcome. Everything works. Uh, so next we have reviews. So let's let's pull up my SQL and just kind of show that off a bit. Um, let's go to the structure and scroll way over. We can see that our uh, review section is set up right because it, it also works. So, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, and then if we do the relationship view, we can see that the two relationships set up right for the client ID and the inventory ID um, which is nice and, which will make it work um, so it's set up and the relationship is set up as well um, we have our folder our review folder here let's see it's right here review folder we have our controller here um, it has our, our switches for adding uh, editing updating deleting, delete, and default. So we have the stuff we do a review controller. We have our review model, some of our functions here. That will do insert, check, get review by client. That one gave me a lot of trouble. Get review, update, get product, and delete review. Which, they, they work, so that's a plus. Uh, so our folder, our controller, our model, and our views, we have review update, review, delete, and then they obviously send some stuff to the product detail page. If we go and look at that, it's um, uh, basically this section down here, which just grabs that get review by client and displays all those reviews are saved in there. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so we have our controllers, our model, our, our view all set up right. Uh, our switches are set up, so we can add a new view. So if we go to, let's say, Canon, and click on Canon here. We can already see we have one review here. But let's do another one. I really like this Canon. To exclamation mark. We'll add the review. And then also still displays that. Um, so we can deliver view to edit, uh, handle the view update, deliver view to confirm, etc. etc. Um, let's see, create the model, we talked about that, add and display review, so we add display, it displays it on top, so that's, that's nice, because uh, it's the newest one. Um, we can tell that they're different ones, it puts their name, the date, uh, with the, just the C, for the subtraction. Um, yeah, display screen name with the subtraction, product, oh yeah, the product and client IDs are hidden, which is based with this button up here, so we can see here hidden and hidden for those two. Those are hidden. Um, if there's existing, it'll display them here. So if we go to explosions and we'll go to TNT, we can see that there aren't any 
This thing was explosive. So now there is one. If we go back to Canon and click on the mortar, we can see that there's two here. So that's good. <laughs> uh, the review text, screen name, first letter, etc., the date, uh, newest should be on top. Uh, we can manage our view. So if we go back to our account with the handy linked, we can see all of our here. We can be like, you know what? I didn't like that TNT one. Let's delete it. Uh, uh, it shows the text, but you can't edit this. I'm trying to type, nothing, but it shows it. And you can hit delete. Displays a message, hey, you've deleted this. And now it's gone. The TNT was gone. But we will, oh, we want to edit the mortar one. I really like this Canon click. And then we accidentally clicked update review. It doesn't do it. Let's say we're no validate. And it says, oh, I'm sorry, but you need to complete all this stuff. Um, this Canon was the best. And see, it's still there. If we go up here, we delete right there. This Canon was the best. Uh, so we can edit and delete those. And if we go back to Canon, mortar, this Canon was the best right there. So in the admin page with our with our account, we can edit and delete them with appropriate um, functions for that. Um, I think that's more or less everything. So to summarize. We have a welcome message when you log in. When you log out, the welcome message disappears, and so you can't go to places you're not supposed to. Uh, it's also a link that takes you to your admin page, uh, where we can also mess with stuff. But um, we can add reviews. Um, reviews will display um, on the pages, and then we can edit and delete those reviews as well with appropriateness. I think that's more or less everything. Um, Thank you.